Hi guys, um, I'm out for a walk with Edith. There's Edith. Say hello, Edith. Edith, hello. Uh, she's not interested. Um, I'm out for a walk in Bucky and uh, I'm in one of the parks. I don't know which park in Bucky. Um, but I've, um, I've always been, um, since it was uh, um, sort of came into the country, always, always on the lookout for um, uh, ash dieback disease. It's a new disease to the UK, introduced, I think, only a few years ago, 10 years ago or so, and it spread through the ash population. And um, some predictions suggest that it could decimate our, um, our native ash populations. Um, and I've just come across a, a little bit of it here. I've got um, an ash sapling here, um, and it's, it's okay, it's, it's, it's growing away. Um, and there's another ash sapling here, but you can see that the top of the ash sapling um, is singed and burnt. You can see the leaves have died, um, and so this part of the stem, this part of the stem has died. And in fact, it might be easier if I just swap the camera around. I don't know if I can do that. Um, no, I've no idea how to do that. Anyway, um, now. The telltale thing that I look out for when I'm looking for ash dieback disease is a, a long, slender, um, diamond-shaped uh, cankerous marking on the stem. And I don't know if you can see it here. It starts down the bottom there with a point, broadens out, and then narrows again at the tip there. So narrow, gets broader, and then narrow again. And that's the locality of the infection and you can see that it's infected this branch and then consequently the branch above it has died. So um, ash dieback disease, I've seen a lot of it this year actually um, and um, it's a bit worrying, it's, a, it's very worrying. We don't know yet whether the ash populations will survive it but um, there you go. Um, we'll be doing more on ash dieback in, um, in the classroom and stuff. So anyway, uh, cheers guys, bye.